What's up guys, Tough Thumbs here. Just playing around with some older scale I did a long time ago for a dude named uh, Jason. We gotta just show it glowing. This is actually something I did uh, a really long time ago with some, I was mimicking uh, one of Karg Knives uh, designs uh, by request. So, it's one of my first glow, glow jobs. So if you guys need you know any glow stuff, make sure you call me up and you know we go back in the alley and can ask for a glow job. Just kidding, that's disgusting. Anyway, so of course I got a haddock here um, that I'm going to be showing you. But first, uh, these guys, Spiderco Mule Scales. Let me get my lights back on here. Hold on a second. All right, yeah, the Spiderco Mule Scales. You guys saw them in a previous video. Um, they fit perfectly. They're some of the nicest feeling scales I've felt on a mule. Uh, they are the tiger stripe, uh, orange and black, but the closer layered, so it's a little bit more wood grain looking. And uh, yep, these are for sale, guys. So email me if you want them, and I'll send them to you on Tuesday. These are awesome. They're just perfectly contoured. Love it. So, yep, that's those. But anyway, so first off today, uh, you know, sometimes I accept jobs that are stupid. Hold on a second. Alexander E. Dietz keeps freaking texting me. I don't know what the hell's deal is. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Something about a Justin Bieber concert. Anyway, so, uh, where was I? Okay, so yeah, sometimes I agree to do stupid things, and sometimes it works out for the better. And, uh, yep, this one did. Uh, so, I'm gonna, you know, Sniper Blade Works, uh, Boker, right here. Um, pimping this one. Uh, it's the S1. But this one. Uh, for this, some reason, you can spider drop this one. That's right. Put a spider hole in it. Nice big hole. Works very nicely. It looks pretty sweet, too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this uh, ugly flipper. It's kind of got that uh, junkyard dog syndrome going on there. But, uh, yep, definitely improvement with the uh, spider hole. But guys, don't all come asking me to do this because, you know, I did this because I felt like doing it. You know, sometimes I just feel like doing weird stuff and uh, definitely broke some stuff uh, trying to do this. So, but it's not exactly the smartest thing to uh, try to drill through heat treated steel. It's definitely uh, not easy. This takes, this one took me like about 30 minutes or so. But yeah, it worked out pretty well. So that guy's gonna get scales and everything, but I figured I'd just show you guys because I was pretty excited about it. Looks like a weird spider cow. Anyway, so first up, now I'm, I don't know. I don't know, I really like this one, but I'll, I guess you guys probably won't like it as much as me. So this one is for Jason. Dude, it's been a long time. Figured I'd do something really special for you. Um, so here is your haddock. Nicely stonewashed. And uh, I absolutely love this scale. Like, I think it's one of my tops of all time. It's nothing crazy, but I just think it just looks really, really nice. So, you got your lightning strike carbon fiber, just perfectly smooth and contoured. Just very, very clean. See that? Uh, trying to get the uh, the bronze color in there. You can see it glinting there. But on this knife, I think it's just gorgeous. And it really went up to the uh, hot spots and beveled those nicely. And it's just, I'm jealous. Like I want this scale really badly on a haddock. I just love it. It's just awesome. 
And uh, you got the black liner material there, nice and thick. This will give it extra structure there. It's very, very classy. But uh, yeah, the lightning strike looks really crazy. See that? Kind of looks like a weird digitized pattern. And then you got like the uh, carbon fiber, which is a lot tighter woven than the stuff I usually use. But it feels very nice. It's like perfectly smooth and it just feels really good in hand. Definitely uh, makes this knife look like a custom. Centers perfectly centered. Perfect lock up. No blade play at all. So that is the lightning strike carbon fiber. Loving it. I just think this is just really, really sweet. Now, uh, seems like you guys have a better taste than me in knives, so I figure you guys probably like this other one better. Uh, so this one is for, I don't know why the hell I go all out on this guy's knives. He's just such a prick. It's just not even funny. He doesn't appreciate anything and he never pays me till like, till I've had his shit for like three weeks. He's just a bastard all around. No, I'm just joking. This is for, uh, Sean. So now, okay, I'm going to say this once, guys, and I don't want to hear any shit about it. Seriously, please just listen to me. It's not finished being stonewashed yet. Uh, it needs another few hours. Um, so it's not completely stonewashed. Alright, so this is, I don't know why the hell he did this. I wouldn't do it, but you know, to each their own. It's a stag arms. You can still sort of make out the stag arms there. Again, not finished stonewashing. It's on its way. Now this one is no, nothing new. There's some nice additions onto this thing. So I got reptilian carbon fiber on a Manix 2. Looks very nice. You can see the black hardware looks very sweet. But you got the white liners and the white drill bit corkscrew backspacer. Looks like a bone almost. Looks like a spine. This looks really cool. And I recessed it down so it didn't hit your fingers so it doesn't get dirty so damn easily. It's more like a decoration. I mean, there's enough, like I said last time I did this, there's a, definitely enough jimping on this thing to, uh, you know, grip it anyway. So, I mean, it does grab the meat of your finger a little bit, but make sure your fingers are, uh, if you're super dirty, it's gonna be, uh, you can see a little bit of dirt. But you can easily take it out. But I think this thing just looks really sick. Centered. It's kind of neat because it didn't take off all the black yet, so it kind of looks like a burnt blade or something. It's kind of cool looking. I still need to pocket, do the pocket clip. Uh, just stone wash that. That looks really sick. I wonder if that music's too loud. Probably not. So yep, that's, um, that's all I got for you today, I think. Let me see here. I thought I had something else. Oh yeah, um, my EDC today, uh, Manix 2. So, yep, this, uh, I know this has happened to some of us. Uh, you take it apart the wrong way and you get the fucking spring shoots across the damn room and then you never see it again. So this is my Manix 2, sweet. Maybe someone runs at me, I could just throw this blade at him or something. But I'm going to be looking around on the ground after this video uh, for it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Yeah. It's better this way now. Well, gotta get used to it. It's strange. Think about maybe I should cut in there for a little bit of relief for the hole, maybe. But uh, this is definitely the biggest hole I've ever done so far. That's what she said. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Peace.